Hi everyone! I quickly wanted to show you how to work with templates from Canva for business card printing. The reason why I'm showing this is that usually what happens is clients select one of the templates that you can see here. And the problem with it is, is that Canva is US sizes, so it's not the same. A lot of clients run into a problem, but I'm going to teach you a workaround and then we'll just um, show you how to save it as well. I do work in a free version. Um, sorry, but I pay a lot of money for my design program, so I'm not using this every day. Okay, so let's say you decide you want this pretty little number. You just click on it. You say customize. So here you'll see it says 85 by 5. Um, and our business card sizes are 85 by 55, so that usually gets reported quite a lot. And then, or it's 90 by 50. So once you've selected customize, you'll see it pops up here. Now that's super cute, but you're going to run into a problem. So we're going to create a new design. So what we do is we just, well, I group it and then I copy it and then I go and I make a new one, create a new design, custom size. Now, depending on where, what size you want, we'll see it now. Basically, always watch out. This is will always be in PX. A lot of clients run into that problem. Go for millimeters or centimeters. We usually work in millimeters. Let's say you go for a 90 by 50. That's what you add in. Create new design. Very simple. Now, we're just going to cheat because we have the design. We like that design, so we're going to steal that the de design. Okay, cool. So, obviously, it pop to the top that's not a big issue in our lives okay so the one thing i want to point out to you is you need to watch out a lot of clients um let's say the design was about there which is nice but if this is too close to the border it's going to be reported for risk of element cutoff so just you know always try and make it a bit higher then we're just going to ungroup all of this so one of the things i want to point out to you is that you will need to extend your design. So whenever you have, this is the end of your page, right? So that's the end of where your business card will end. That's not the end of the design as in with bleed. So always extend colors that way. It looks weird. I'm fully aware. But for the greater scheme of things for bleed purposes, just that is the best to do it. So we're just going to go, with, wow. I'm not really worried about that part. Choose a name. Wowzer. Okay. Okay, so that's hopefully you can see now. Um let me just quit this. You must quit. Okay, hopefully you can see now like that's the principle behind it. Um it's super easy so we'll add the second page we just go and copy and paste the stuff so that we have the design that we like but it's going to be in the right setup and that's super important so remember to group and then copy i just find it works better then you add a new page you paste again okay so it pastes but it doesn't paste the background i saw this earlier um, not that it's the end of the world. We just paste that in. Okay, see? Super easy. You can move it around. Obviously, you can go and um, copy and paste this from um, the previous page. Printing eh, services. It's... Okay, so you don't really need to watch me do all of this. But you get the idea where it's like super easy for you just to just quickly go and copy and paste it. And now it's actually in the right size. Now, the more important part is how you are going to save it. So just remember what I said earlier. Just want to check one little thing um, about the thing I said about extending your design a little bit. So uh, I know some of the times it does add in your bleed automatically, but it might not. So now the way to save it is to go to share and then download and then where it says PNG you go for whoopsie daisies PDF printing 
you select crop marks and bleed and flatten PDF. The flattened PDF isn't always preferred because sometimes we won't be able to edit it then, but um, it might get reported for, um, you know, your fonts not being embedded if you, well, it will get reported for fonts not being embedded if you don't do it. So rather be safe and do it this way. PDF print, crop marks, flatten all pages because we want both. Yeah, you'll need to select CMYK. Or you can export it as RGB and go to an online CMYK converter, RGB to CMYK converter. Just Google it. Super easy. That's what you do. Okay. Yeah. Here it added in the bleed. So these are where your trim marks are. That's where it's going to cut. That's about it. Okay. So if you want to print a few business cards at home or the office because you're in a bit of a pinch. Wow. Here is a way to do it. You can insert a table. I've only done this once, so let's not necessarily judge me too hard for this. Okay, I'm just going to paste it, but you can insert, obviously. Don't worry. I know it looks rough. It's not supposed to look this rough. Yeah. All right. Just watch out when you do this. It could squish your details. <laughs> watch out for that. So the first thing I would do is depending on your needs, but I would remove all the borders so that there's none of them. And then under, I think it was this, I'll go make the cell margin 0, 1 or whatever you choose. Um, I prefer... Sorry. Okay. I prefer to keep a small line there. The reason for that is, is then that white little line will work as your cutting line. But um, you can choose if you are going to wing it or not. It's up to you. Okay. Sometimes it works better and sometimes not. Oh, wait. Think, Sean. So, so then that would work kind of like... A way for you to go and cut it then there obviously you can make this bigger that depends on you so all you have to do is go file save as pdf okay so obviously it goes file print here you can choose um actual size or fit fit might be better it depends on how you set it up obviously i did a really bad job of doing this you can custom scale it because i did a bad job um it should possibly show you but then you just select print really depends on your settings